Hey guys, today's video is at IAEA and it's called M&M Barbecue and I picked it because it's been in IAEA for a while but most people don't know about it and I like to do hole in the walls with cheap eats um, once in a while just to give them some exposure if you don't hang around certain areas and you're not uh, knowing of it. And they've got a very extensive menu, burgers, bentos, late lunches and such. And they also do catering. Um, I phone ordered this over the phone and the lady was very friendly in person and over the phone. So we'll start with the first dish. I picked bento number one. So this is a huge bento because it's uh, not in your typical little bento box. It's a full on plate lunch. So it's pretty much a breakfast bento and it's got uh, eggs your way, two eggs. I got uh, over easy and you get a piece of their famous fried chicken, which they're known for, a piece of spam and two Portuguese sausage. There's bento two, three and four. You can look online or Yelp and look at people's menus that they took pictures of to look at the different variations of breakfast bentos that they have. So we'll dig into this. And I must say that it's cash only. I'm a person that doesn't like to carry cash. I don't like change and stuff. So I had to run to an ATM. So don't be like me, bring some cash because she does not accept credit cards. So we'll go into this uh, over easy egg. I like uh, breaking the yolks on my rice and mixing it. Good flavor, salted nicely. Not too salty, but not plain either. Rice is cooked perfect. And if you don't like sunny side up eggs or uh, over easy eggs, you can get the eggs your way. So you can get them scrambled if you don't like them semi raw. Let's dig into this chicken. I hope it's not soggy. It looks super crispy. Fried the old school Hawaii way with not too much batter. Mmm, wow. She butterflied it, so it's a thigh. So it's super thin, easy to eat, nice and crunchy skin on the outside, not too much batter. Uh, when I say a local kind of fried chicken, um, think of Zippy's, where they don't put too much flour batter on it. It's mostly the crunches from the skin of the chicken. But super good taste, nice and um, savory, not too salty, not under seasoned. Man, if you're into some local fried chicken and you're not into too much batter, this is super good. Um, I would definitely come back here again just for the fried chicken. And if you're curious and you don't want to order too much, they do sell it by the piece for cheap as a side order. So crunchy, so light, delicious. As I eat more of it, I also taste a hint of like a Chinese five spice, which gives it another dimension. And I don't know if that's really in their flour batter, but they are a Chinese couple that run this um, little drive-in. And I think it gives it a unique taste and it is delicious. So that's the highlight of this bento that makes it different from every other um, breakfast bento that you may find at a drive-in drive or a little uh, hole in the wall. Okay, we'll go into the other things. We'll uh, take a taste of the Portuguese sausage. You get two pieces. It's typical Portuguese sausage. Yep, cooked well. Your typical delicious Portuguese sausage. Can't go wrong with eggs and rice. And next is the Spam. It's a pretty thick cut, I think. And it's fried kind of crisp, which I like. All right, if you're wondering how much the bento costs, it was absolutely delicious. Really love the fried chicken. You can't go wrong with the local favorites of Spam and Portuguese sausage. It is $6.80, quite a deal. And if you get uh, the bento number two that has chicken katsu and bacon, ham and egg, that's the same price. Number three is barbecue chicken, terry beef, mahi-mahi, Spam and mac salad. That's $9.30, so quite a deal. You can't go wrong. All right, next up, I wanted to try something small and cheap to show just if you're looking for something fast to eat and cheap. This is their cheeseburger. They have um, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, uh, chicken burgers even. So this is what it looks like. Nothing too fancy. Um, the cheese looks like it hasn't really melted. It's just a craft single or something, but we'll take a bite into it. 
you know what? Even though the cheese isn't melted, it's kind of just like still cold. It's actually surprisingly got a lot of flavor. That patty, I'm not sure it's probably pre-made or what. I don't think it's homemade, but a lot of flavor. It's got some oniony flavor in there, but you know, no onions actually in here, I don't see. So if you don't like raw onions, then you're safe, but it has that really good savory onion flavor. And it's not just a typical patty with just salt and pepper. And they do put ketchup and mayo in it, which gives it a nice um, feel, mouth feel to it. So it's not dry in your mouth. And the bun's pretty soft and fresh. They do sell fries, I'm sure, and um, but it's a la carte. So nice cheap meal on the go. Tastes pretty good. I'm impressed for a little drive-in. It's delicious. So um, for that cheeseburger, it was only $2.70. So um, you can grab two or just get a double cheeseburger. That's only $3.70. So super cheap eats here and it is delicious. I wasn't really expecting much from a cheeseburger from some hole in the wall, but it's actually really good. All right, for our last dish that I'm gonna showcase, it is their barbecue mix plate. And it's got one piece of kalbi, a terry beef steak, and some barbecue chicken with lots of rice and mac salad. So we're gonna dive into this. And she did give me knives, so let me cut through the kalbi first. Kalbi's got some nice grill marks on there. So we'll take a taste. Pretty good flavor. I'm really a stickler about kalbi. So it's not your typical real Korean kalbi marinade, just your local sweet uh, soy marinade. I don't taste any sesame seed oil or too much garlic or anything or ginger, but a pretty good plate lunch kalbi. It's tender, not too much fat on it. So I think it's good. Uh, so don't be coming here thinking it's gonna be like Korean kalbi. A great taste for local style plate lunch kalbi. And I think the cut of meat that they're using is really good. It's not uh, too chewy. It's actually really easy to chew and uh, doesn't have all that grizzle on it. Okay, up next we got some barbecue chicken. This thing's pretty thin, but uh, let's take a taste anyway. Pretty good taste. I like the marinade that they're using. Pretty good chicken. They're probably using the same marinade as the kalbi, but with chicken, I think it soaks up that marinade a little bit differently. And uh, the chicken is super tender, even though it's thin, maybe it's cut that way, so it is uh, tender, uh, just kind of melts in your mouth. Even though it's thin, you've got a lot of chicken. So right here, right here. So even though it looks like they're being um, stingy, it's not. I think maybe the cut is done that way, so it is tender to eat and not so hard to uh, cut through with your knife since it is a plate lunch. And then there's this big honking piece of terry steak or terry beef. I'll say I'm not really a fan of terry beef and I don't get it much anywhere else like at Zippy's or any other plate lunch place. Uh, but it came in this uh, barbecue mix so let's try it. You know what? It's pretty good. It's not too sweet. And I think that's what turns me off with terry beef. So um, still got that sweetness going on, but not overwhelmingly sweet. So a pretty good meal. And you know what? I discovered more chicken under that terry beef. So there is a lot of meat in this plate lunch. So pretty much you get three pieces of chicken. There's all this meat hiding underneath. And lastly, let's taste the mac salad. You know, it looks quite plain when you first look at it. Like it doesn't have a lot of carrot or anything mixed in it. Although I do see one little shaving of carrot in there, but it's got onions in it, which I'm a fan of. It gives that nice oniony mayo taste to it. So actually it's pretty good. And the noodles are cooked perfectly. They're al dente, they're not soggy or undercooked. And so is the rice. The rice in every um, dish, including the bento was cooked perfectly. So if you're wondering what the um, barbecue mix plate cost. It is $9.90. Quite a deal for all that massive amount of meat. You get one piece of kalbi 
and that terry steak that's pretty huge and i thought there was only a little bit of thin chicken but actually there was three pieces of chicken and it's all hiding underneath that terry steak so quite a deal i think with the mac salad and the rice if you're not into the barbecued meats they have other mixed plates like hamburger mixed plate um, with hamburger steak beef stew you have a choice of beef stew beef curry or chili um, they have a seafood combo with fried shrimp and fried mahi mahi etc and you can add on other meats for a dollar more if you want so it's kind of customizable um, like i said cash only be sure to bring cash she's such a nice lady and the man is behind there cooking i'm assuming that might be her husband so a great mom and pop hole in the wall barbecue joint for awesome plate lunches and the cheeseburger was awesome too kind of just that old school plate lunch vibe definitely check them out if you have a hard time finding it it's in the shopping center below times IAEA or IAEA bowl and it's where IAEA Manapua and snacks is it's right next door to it and there was a big line over there for everybody getting Manapua but definitely give this place m m barbecue a chance because it is super affordable considering these days plate lunches cost so much and uh, they give you a generous amount of food and the quality was awesome. I'm actually really surprised and this was one of my best underdogs so far that I have tried besides my beloved Kalihi barbecue. So if you're into that, um, I had a couple of viewers comment on trying Kalihi barbecue and actually enjoying it. You might want to check out this place as well. It has the same vibe. So if you like this, press the like button. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time. Peace out. Take care. Aloha.